What's up guys, welcome to RGH Tech TV and today let's see some tips and tricks, some uh, uh, hidden features and uh, some applications which will enhance your user experience on uh, Moto G 3rd generation 2015. So uh, firstly let's see some uh, uh, tips which are specific to Motorola and later on we'll see some tips which uh, can be applied on any phone running on the latest version of Android uh, that is Lollipop. Right. So uh, what we'll do is uh, Motorola has included some gestures. So uh, uh, the first gesture is chop chop by which you can turn the LED flash on and the good thing is it's very handy and you don't need to go to lock screen, don't need to go to uh, home screen to turn this on. Just by uh, using the chop chop you can turn the LED flash on. And to turn it off you can use the same gesture as you can see. Now the second gesture is you can double twist your wrist to turn the camera on as you can see and you can double twist it again to turn, to shift it to a front facing camera. So now you have three ways to capture pictures here. You can tap in anywhere and it will capture the pictures for you and or else you can use the volume buttons. Uh, so it will act as a dedicated uh, uh, shutter button. And uh, the third thing is if you want to take selfies and uh, uh, you don't want your hand to be displayed in the picture, then what you can do is you can use any headphones uh, which has a button to take or end calls. Uh, I'll show you like. So you can press the button and it will capture the pictures for you. That's as easy as it can be right so uh, now the other thing is the other way to launch the camera application is you can launch it from the lock screen itself so you can uh, swipe from right to left and it will launch the camera for you uh, so you can do this uh, from the lock screen itself that's a good thing the other thing which Motorola has included is called the Moto display so which will display the notifications or messages if you have any on the lock screen itself so it will not drain your battery and it's a quite handy feature according to me right so uh, apart from Moto display and uh, Moto uh, some gestures from Motorola Motorola has also included something called as assist so Moto assist is uh, uh, something which triggers the activity and which indeed instructs uh, your phone like to perform some specific tasks so for example if you're sleeping your, if your sleep time is from 11 pm to 6 am then at that point of time it will turn the screen off and uh, it will only allow the priority interruptions which is a very good thing so currently it only supports meeting and sleeping so in meeting uh, if there are any missed calls then the phone will automatically uh, reply to them and uh, you can also personalize this message here so it's it says like i'm in a meeting i'll get back to you soon so you can also edit this and personalize according to your needs right so this is also quite handy feature now uh, we have uh, as i showed you the moto display the other option is you can uh, display the notifications uh, through ambient display also which is synonymous to moto display but the thing is uh, it will drain your battery and motor display is quite efficient in that case. So what I would suggest is go with motor display and uh, ambient display is found on uh, many of the lollipop phones out there. The other thing is uh, it also supports USB OTG out of the box. So you can connect your pen drives to expand the storage and I'll show you a demo of that now. So uh, you can install any file explorer and uh, or else uh, if you have media files then you can open mx player directly and you can see it has detected the usb disk so click on this and you can view the video right so it's Yo, a, up, guys? This a is very good HD. thing so now i'll show you how to take the screenshots so for that you have to press the power button and the volume down button at the same time and it will capture the picture for you and what you can do is you can access this uh, screenshot through notification tray now I'll show you uh, how to capture the screen, uh, I mean to say how to record the screen. So you have an application called AZ Screen Recorder which is available for free on the Play Store. So you can uh, use this application to record the screen. For example, you, ha you have this widget kind of thing here. So if you press on the red button, it will start the record. It will start the recording and uh, you can uh, control it from the notification tray. Uh, you can pause it, stop it and uh, whatever if you want to make some tutorial then it will be definitely be helpful so you can go to multitasking tray you can go to uh, application tray and you can do whatever you want and it will display the same thing on the uh, screen recording so let's stop this now as you can see and we can dismiss this widget kind of thing by pressing the uh, last uh, arrow mark here that's it right so screen recording and screen capture 
is uh, most important thing uh, which will be beneficial if you uh, if you're doing some tutorials and uh, some uh, things which will help other people on the YouTube right so now uh, what we'll do is we will go to settings and uh, we'll do one thing we'll just put this here right we'll go to settings and uh, let's see like how to save the battery so if you're running out of your battery then uh, Android Lollipop supports battery saver mode so you can go to settings and then battery and then you can hit this uh, extendable menu button at the top uh, right corner uh, you can hit that and you have the battery saver so if you turn it on you'll get this red accent saying that uh, you have turned on the battery saver and uh, it'll save you it'll uh, uh, remove the background applications and it will save you some uh, couple of hours of battery so which is a very good thing so let's turn it off for the moment and uh, let's go back to uh, security right you have the screen pinning option available here which is a very good thing and apart from that you can uh, uh, use a pattern pin or password to lock your screen uh, which is a good thing and uh, you have something called as owner info here so in case your phone is lost or uh, uh, you have applied for PIN so you can display some message here, like it might be a phone number or some address where uh, people can get back to you get in touch with you and give the hand over the phone to you so let's type in anything and uh, for example we we'll just type in hello you can type in anything and it will be displayed on the lock screen so as you can see it will be displayed on the lock screen so which is a very good thing so now what we'll do is we'll go back and we will go to uh, accessibility and uh, we'll go to magnification gestures so what it'll do is it will magnify the screen for you so tap in three times and it will magnify the screen for you so you can use single finger to move between pages and uh, you can use two fingers to move uh, around in the same page so which is a very good thing and uh, to get back to normal mode uh, you have to tap in three times as you can see right uh, so let's turn it off for the moment and uh, you have you you can also use power button to end calls uh, so which is also available in the accessibility so now let's see some basic stuff uh, uh, which can be done on uh, any phones like so this is the google now uh, which is uh, very important and it will give you customized information according to your needs so it'll give you information in cards which is very good and if you're traveling then this will be very beneficial so this is the home screen uh, these are the two home screens and uh, it'll dynamically add the home screens uh, what you should do is you should move applications to the next page and it'll add a new page to you which is a very good thing and uh, the thing is on this moto g3 customizations are very less very minimal customizations uh, all the thing you need all you can do is uh, you can just change the wallpapers you can add widgets and uh, that's it right no themes or nothing like that so wallpapers uh, these are the stock wallpapers if you are not satisfied satisfied with this uh, you can go uh, with some application called as backgrounds hd which is available for free on play store uh, which is uh, which will give you some quite colorful and beautiful wallpapers which might make your day right and uh, so i have added a widget here let's remove this for the time being and i'll show you how to add a widget here uh, so let's add this time widget again so here you see it's not like uh, uh, this is just a widget uh, it has multiple tasks like so if you press and hold so if you press on that then you can set alarms you have a countdown timer you have a timer which is a very good thing right so uh, these are the basic things uh, which you can do here uh, you have also some applications like themer and all where you can add some specific themes but i prefer to use the stock experience uh, uh, because i like the stock experience on the moto g3 uh, so this is the notification tray where all your notifications will come down and um, uh, if you drag it down uh, you'll get the quick toggles so you have all the quick toggles from wi-fi bluetooth uh, screencast and everything here now you can use two fingers to directly go to quick toggles as you can see you can drag it with the two fingers and you can directly go to uh, quick toggles now let's see how to go to safe mode so you can press and hold the power button and uh, once you get the power off icon you can press and hold it and uh, as you can see if you uh, want to troubleshoot then you can go to safe mode so what it says is it will disable all the third-party applications uh, so 
to get back to normal mode what you can do is you can boot it normally right uh, so you'll get back to this normal mode so which is a very good thing so i believe i have covered most of the part uh, if you have enjoyed this video or if this video has helped you hit that like button and uh, for more videos like this subscribe to my channel and most importantly thanks for watching